Dr. Matt O'Reilly here of OrthodoxyForEveryone.com. Today we're talking about the book of Revelation. More specifically, we're talking about my favorite books for reading Revelation well. There is a lot of stuff out there on the book of Revelation, um, and a lot of it's not very helpful. Some of it is probably just, let's go ahead and say, kind of crazy, wild, and off base. So... I want to offer some help to you so that you kind of, you know, in all the stuff that's out there, here are three books that are what I think are one of the some of the best places to start. Revelation's tough. There are, uh, it's the last book in the New Testament. It's probably the most challenging book in the New Testament. It's full of symbols, images, numbers, beasts, uh, horses. There's there's uh, letters to the churches. There's visions. There's all just it's, it's just tough with all of that coming together. The symbols don't come from our world. They come from the world of ancient Judaism, and so we're a long way from a long way away from that uh, chronologically in, in in the history of the world. So uh, it's helpful to have some guides who know that world and who can help us uh, engage the text in an accessible way. So let's jump in. Uh, the first recommendation is by N.T. Wright. It's called Revelation for Everyone. Uh, Wright is probably one of the most well-known New Testament scholars in the world. He's a former bishop in the Church of England, so he writes about the Bible very pastorally. Um, he's a, now working as professor of New Testament at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland. So he's back in an academic post now. Um, this book, Revelation for Everyone, is in a series of books that he's written, uh, popular level commentaries on the whole New Testament. So you've got Matthew for everyone, Mark for everyone, Paul for everyone, and now we're looking at Revelation for Everyone. This book is set up to just take you straight through uh, the book of Revelation, passage by passage. So he takes the text in 8, 10, 12 verse segments. Um, he is get working with his own translation, so it's kind of a fresh... A uh, slightly different take on the Greek text uh, from if you're what, what you may be used to in the standard translations. Uh, so that's helpful for kind of a um, you know taking a, a new angle on some things that maybe uh, we've run in the same same grooves for a long time. This is basic explanation and application. Wright is going to explain the text as best he can in a non-technical fashion, and then make some connection points between the first century and the 21st century. He's going to explain it and then do his best to apply it to our lives as followers of Jesus in the 21st century. So, great entryway into reading Revelation, very accessible. Uh, it's for everyone. Number two, uh, my second recommendation for reading Revelation is called Reading Revelation Responsibly by Dr. Michael Gorman. Uh, Gorman teaches at St. Mary's Seminary and University in Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, again, top-notch New Testament scholar with a heart for the church and worship and mission. And those are um, kind of the two places where his book sits and focuses. Uh, you might say that Gorman provides a missional reading of Revelation. We're not talking about a commentary here. He doesn't work through the text verse by verse in order. Uh, this book is more focused on themes, and uh, particularly he wants to show how reading Revelation uh, shapes our worship in a way that enables us for faithful mission. That's what we're after here. Revelation shapes our worship in a way that forms us uh, for faithful mission. And the thing, I, one of the things I love about this book is just how hopeful it is. All of these books are hopeful because they're all focused on the climax of Revelation in new creation, new heavens, new earth. God makes his home amongst his people. Um, but uh, Michael Gorman's book is just so focused on that new creation. We need to know where we're going. And if we know where we're going, if we know where this project is taking us, is, is where God is taking us in this project, then we'll know better how to live and how to get there. So that's what we're after. Um, so much on Revelation is pessimistic and scary and, uh, you know, hope you get raptured out of here before the tribulation kinds of stuff. It really creates a lot of fear and 
Revelation is about. Yes, there are elements of warning and judgment to those who oppress the people of God, but ultimately it is a word of hope for the people of God that regardless of how crazy the world seems, God is in control and he will accomplish his purposes and bring about the new creation. Uh, Gorman keeps that in focus. Stunningly helpful stuff. Highly recommend it. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is a commentary, kind of a full-on uh, commentary by Robert Mulholland in the Cornerstone Commentary Series. Uh, Mulholland was a professor of mine at Asbury Theological Seminary, and I'm so grateful for uh, the ministry that he offered in the context of the classroom. I had a uh, revelation with him and some other courses. Um, the course number, you'll, get, you'll appreciate this, was uh, NT666 for the class on Revelation. So the mark of the beast is forever emblazoned on my academic transcript. Got that going for me. Excited about that. Um, but Mulholland is pastorally sensitive. Uh, he helped translate uh, Revelation for the New Living Translation. So, And this commentary reflects his mature, um, seasoned uh, lectures, writings, preaching, reflections, all of that in this book. Uh, so I highly recommend it. It's very helpful. It resonates a lot with uh, Gorman's book in that it's focused on how Revelation forms us for worship. Uh, he's focused very much on spiritual formation and spirituality, the spirituality of the book of Revelation. Uh, again, very pastorally sensitive, very helpful for sermon preparation or Bible study preparation. Um, there probably aren't tons and tons of commentaries that pastors can recommend to church folks. This is one that you can. It's really helpful, really good stuff, and I highly recommend it. It's good. Uh, let me just emphasize this. You can take these books in this order. because Wright is going to give you a dressed down, accessible movement through Revelation. Gorman's going to give you a more thematic uh, attempt approach and uh that's going to be a little bit deeper than what or it's going to be deeper than what right right does but still accessible and then mulholland is verse by verse commentary all the way through he's going to deal with the issues again still very accessible still very readable but you know more critical um commentary kind of kind of stuff so very helpful things there are links to each of these books in the description below the video Hope you'll click through and read them, and you'll be well on your way to understanding Revelation and reading it well. Uh, I've also got a link to a short essay that I wrote for seedbed.com on reading Revelation in the church. So kind of some of my main tips for just kind of your mindset. How do we approach this thing? And uh, be sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching.